Hello there Pisces, how's it going you guys? It's time for your reading and um, I got kind of a confusing one so I had to pull more cards out to sort of clarify what, what I see. Um, it looks pretty, it doesn't look bad, it just, uh, it's different. All right, I'm trying to get this cord out of the way, guys. So anyway, um, my name is Kelly, and I will be doing your reading today. And so the first dream that we got here was Rido, and it's in reverse. And usually when Rido is in reverse, it's warning us not to travel. Um, but, you know, I'm really thinking more... Um, <clears throat> Pisces, I don't think that that's what the case is. It could be for some of you. Um, uh, travel may, maybe you need to travel, but you're having some problems getting to where you're going because you've got a plan here, but you need, actually you need to make a plan. You need to, you need to make a plan to be able to travel. Um, but for most of you, um, I really think and I feel that this righto in reverse is talking about an inner journey. An inner journey. And, and I say that because I see the justice card here, or I mean the judgment. <laughs> I see the judgment card. And so um, the judgment card to me is... It means a lot of different things. It's, you know, the cards are kind of like runes. They mean different different things, but and they can mean all all different things too. But I guess what I'm trying to say is this is talking about like a journey, like a like a like cuz remember I kept saying in our past readings about how we're our uh, our vibrational energy is rising and so this is what the case is and we're 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 getting more clarity as our vibration is rising this is like a spiritual awakening this is like an inner spiritual journey yes and then we have fehu here and then you know fehu is in reverse Fehu means money, and when it's in reverse, it usually means that you're losing some sort of money. Um, and I'll get into that here because I pulled a bunch of cards down here asking about Fehu. <clears throat> the next uh, rune that we got, guys, was Gabo. And Gabo was talking about gifts and blessings. So... You know, I keep getting, I keep pulling it up, Gabo and gifts and blessings and stuff. And so a lot of us are getting that, um, you know, and this is just a general reading, you guys. So if it doesn't resonate, you know, it, it resonates for some, it may not resonate with all. I mean, a lot of the readings like yesterday's reading was a good example. That didn't resonate with me, not at all at all. <laughs> but it resonated with some of you guys so um, yeah and then we have Hagelez here and Hagelez is, is something shocking something shocking uh, Pisces um, I don't feel that it's anything, anything negative either I think just something something shocking I don't know what I haven't pulled, I didn't really pull cards on that because, um, you know, I really kind of don't need to because Hagelez, uh, in this, in this position means that also you can't control what other people do. And the only thing that you can control is, is yourself. And, you know, with the hangman right here on this right here, you know, it's, it's, to me, the way I'm picturing this, this hangman is, you know, subconscious thoughts concerning your money. See, I pulled, I pulled the Fehu out and I was like, huh, why is Fehu there in reverse? 
Um, and so I pulled these cards for that. So it's kind of all ties in together. It looks like also you're walking away from something or someone, Pisces. So, yeah, you're walking away from someone or something. And with the, the Page of Wands, I mean, he's really an eager guy. He's eager to try anything, uh, give anything a try just to see if it works for him. So this is very positive, too. All right, so it looks like you're kind of like going on an inner journey. It might be a good day um, today to just, uh, you know, be a hermit. And I don't see the hermit card, but it might be a good day to do that. I know I'm going to be a hermit. There's a big storm coming, and so most of it's going to be south, but <laughs> I, we're still going to get some. So... When I pulled Fehu out here in reverse, I was thinking, you know, why is Fehu in reverse? And the first card we got here was the Seven of uh, Pentacles. And uh, this is someone that is working on their money. And so this is what you're doing, Pisces. You're working on your money. But you've got the Moon card here next to it. And so the Moon card is, is kind of like you can't really see things. You're kind of like, you know... You're up in your head about your money, maybe, some of you, on, and, and you're blinded to the fact. It's also talking about illusions, um, you know, illusions. And with it next to the hangman, I mean, this is like subconsciously thinking, you know, that things may not work out or things going to work or I'm going to, am I doing the right thing? Um, yeah. But see, then I pulled another card and I got um, the Four of Wands. And this is telling me that you need to just keep keep moving along, Pisces, and going with the flow. Um, because things are going to work out. Things are going to work out. I see the Four of Wands. So, I mean, you're on track. It's just right now you're kind of like you can't really see what's going on really. And so you're, you're feeling like maybe, am I going to be able to make this money? Is this going to work out? Um, am, you know, and, you know, but you're on track, Pisces. And you've got some gifts and blessings coming your way here as well. And then when I looked on the bottom of the deck, I got uh, the Six of Swords. And so, you know, I'm feeling that, you know, maybe some of you guys may actually be moving. Um, or on your way to uh, be moving because you're walking away from something too. You could be moving from your place into a new home or a new apartment or something like that as well. Um, yeah, so that's what this card could be too. It could be, it could be that you're walking away from a person, but it could all or a thing, but it it could be that you're walking away from. Uh, from some sort of a a bad situation a situation that is kind of just kind of you know not what you want so if if you're going to be making a move pisces this is going to be a much better place for you a much better place and look at this you know it's going to have much more room look at how small this little section of water is here and it's all rough and it's it's not stable but look at this big beautiful smooth you know so if you are moving pisces you're moving to a bit to a much nicer place and it may cost a lot of money <laughs> but i think it's worth it i mean that's for sure but mostly you know i feel that this reading is more kind of like spiritual and I think that um, a lot of us are going through like some sort of like a, um, you know, we're all going through a transformation, but some sort of a, like an enlightenment, a spiritual transformation, Pisces. Yes, indeed. Let's pull you a couple cards here and see what else. I mean, as far as the spiritual goes, I keep, I can't really explain it, but I keep getting like this really cool, kind of like electric feeling. Kind of, I can't really describe it. It's kind of like 
and it's kind of like some things will like set it off like certain smells in the air when I'm walking outside and it'll remind me of something from you know from the past but I can't put my finger on it and then just the way things feel I can't read there's no human words to describe it but <laughs> I'm trying to describe something that just there's no physical words to describe so but yeah I'm definitely feeling that what's going on here with Pisces Well, both of these wanted to come out. Beloved, radical acceptance, and eye of the needle, intentionally. And the eye of the needle intentionally is, is stating to make, make your point very clear um, and make an intentional move. Do it. Do whatever you're doing, do it intentionally. Let's see exactly what that means. I'm going to just, I'm just going to be quiet here and I'm going to, what is the name of those cards? <laughs> it's not those, it's not those, and it's, yeah, it must be these. Okay. I got so many books laying around here. <laughs> Remember one time we got we got oops we got the kitty that weren't there weren't the page where the kitty chewed it up. I better pick it up off the floor before he gets to it again. <laughs> I don't know what it is. And the dog the dog of mine, my dog, he loves he loves paper too. It's his favorite favorite game. I'll take a piece of paper and wire it up and he goes crazy and I try to make a basket and he tries to catch it. <laughs> The eye of the needle looks so tiny, but once your intention threads through it, a vast opportunity is pre presented on the other side. The needle can mend, can sew things together to make something meaningful and new. You're experiencing success right now. Stay true to your desires, to the work you need to accomplish. So keep working, Pisces. See, I see you working right here. Just keep working. You know, maybe your money's not doing so well right now, but your money's coming. It's, it is. I see this. So, I mean, it's just, you know, how would we say in, in rune talk? Isa, ice. <laughs> ice. All right, let's see. Number two, beloved. Beloved, do not hold back or be afraid, for you will... Emerge transformed. Surrender is the key and allow yourself to be loved. So, and it's also talking about um, yeah, it's talking about a business venture might be uh, beloved may be may not be a person at all. It might be a business venture or project <clears throat> a project or adventure calling for your full attention. So maybe you've got something, you know, that needs to require your full attention uh, for what you're, whatever you're working on for your money. All right? But don't worry. Like I said, you're, you're heading the right way. When I, when I see the four of wands and then I flip the card over, you know, yeah, I, I, think, I think everything is good. You know, the hardest thing I have about doing these these videos is thinking up a, a decent uh, title. So what should I title this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to title it. Um, yeah. And also, two Pisces with the Fehu in reverse. Excuse me. Sorry about that. With Fehu in reverse... Um, it's also saying to, um, you know, hold on to your money right now, okay? But don't worry, just keep 
keep going on on the path that you're on Pisces keep moving with the flow um, it might be a good day to uh, to do the hermit mode deal because I see Baraka in reverse and this is talking about you know figuring out um, the plan to get this to turn around <laughs> it will it will all right clear cancel and release and what was I talking about here with this hangman uh, next uh, to the moon and judgment see so you, you really you really need to uh, try to try your very best I know it's it's easier said than done so and it's hard for me too but you need to uh, change the way that you're thinking especially when it's concerning your money all right so um, if you're thinking negative things about your money negative things are going to happen with your money so you need to think you need to clear cancel and release anything that is negative about that and replace it with a positive affirmation like my money's doing great I'm doing good I'm making lots of money um, you know true or not doesn't matter you say that to yourself just to clean yourself out of this garbage that you've been living in for so long and I understand that Pisces because I mean like for me um, you know I have been you know kind of like on the Fehu in reverse for so long I don't know what it's like to to even really have any any money really I, I honestly I don't you know I um, I worked and then I got sick I had a, a, a liver transplant I was sick for a few years you know couldn't really work very much so you know I know what it's like to <laughs> and then you know when you get all that crap you know in your in your thought process it just kind of poisons you so you want to try to purge that that you know negative uh, that negative thought process that's in your subconscious out of your body out of your head all right and that's what that's talking about and I know it's easier said than done but you catch yourself you know thinking uh, negatively especially towards your money you, you don't want to do that so you need to cancel clear cancel release and replace it and it's saying here to do the work do the work Pisces and you know and you will do the work too I see you look at this the page of wands he was he's willing to do anything to get things working so do the work <laughs> and keep 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 going um, yeah like I say it might be a good day to to be hermit mode if you could if you want to I mean it looks like you're going through like an inner inward journey um, and Rido usually always does um, warn against uh, you know trips or travel and you might not be able to even take a trip or travel anyway because you've got some sort of uh, things here that need to be straightened out here first all right Pisces all right then you guys I hope you enjoyed your reading oh my goodness look I, I didn't even pull a moon card <laughs> I better pull one of these first Hope you guys are having a good day, afternoon, evening, whenever you're you're watching. All right. Uh, Pisces. Communication is key. New Moon in Gemini. Communication is key. And don't let your past hold you back. And this is what we're talking about here, Pisces. Um, you know, the way that you've thought in the past about money, the negative things that you have thought about yourself about money. We need to release that. 
And I'm not saying you need to, I'm saying we need to, because I know I need to. Um, and somebody else out here too does too. So <laughs> for once I, can, I got something that I can actually, uh, like yesterday, I know it couldn't, didn't resonate with me at all, but uh, this reading kind of does. So anyway, as f as, at least as far as my thinking goes. So I got to change my thinking, you know, for about money. And so, so do a lot of you guys there too. <laughs> and I think that's why Fehu's in reverse. All right, guys. All right. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right. Bye for now, Pisces.